everyone. We have already studied that there are different kinds of plants. We can easily notice the differences in size, lifespan, the place where they grow and flowering patterns of plants. It is easy to classify the plants on the basis of these observations. So let us learn about the different kinds of plants. Based on their size, plants are classified as trees, shrubs, and herbs. Trees Big and tall plants are called trees. Their stem is thick, hard, and strong. It is called trunk. Trees have branches at some height, much above the ground. Trees grow more than 3 meters. They bear flowers and fruit for many years. For example, mango tree, neem tree, coconut tree, etc. Shrubs Plants that grow close to the ground and have medium height are called shrubs. Shrubs have woody, thick and hard stem. They give out branches very close to the ground. Shrubs grow up to 2 to 3 meters. They are shorter and smaller than trees. For example, rose plant, sunflower plant, etc. Herbs Some plants are very short in size. They are called herbs. Stems of herbs are green, soft and quite flexible as compared to those of trees and shrubs. They do not have many branches. Herbs grow up to 1 to 1.5 meters tall. For example, lettuce, coriander, mint, etc. Vines Some plants, unlike trees, shrubs, herbs, have a weak stem and can't stand erect, are called vines. Some vines with weak stem spread on the ground are called creepers. For example, watermelon plant, pumpkin plant, etc. Some vines climb up with the support of other plants, walls or sticks are called climbers. For example, grape vines, money plant, etc. Climbers like money plant have aerial roots. Vines have tendrils to get support. Tendrils look like a spring. On the basis of lifespan, plants are classified as annuals, biennials and perennials. Annuals Plants like jowar, bajra, sunflower, groundnut, fenugreek, etc. completes their life cycle in one year. That means they grow and die in a year. These plants are called annuals. Biennials Plants like carrot, beetroot have their life cycle of two years. That means they grow and dies in two years. During the first season, it prepares and stores food. And in second season, it bears flowers, fruits and seeds. Perennials Some trees like neem, mango, banyan, etc. and shrubs leaves for several years and bear flowers and fruits. Plants that leave for more than two years are called perennials. Based on flowering pattern of plants, they are classified as flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants Plants that bear flowers are called flowering plant. For example, rose plant, cactus plant, gulmohar plant, etc. Non-flowering plants. Plants that never bear flowers are called non-flowering plants. For example, algae, fern, moss, etc. Some plants grow on land and some in water. 
based on the place where they grow plants are classified as terrestrial plants and aquatic plants terrestrial plants plants that grows on land are called terrestrial plants for example peepal tree tamarind tree etc some terrestrial plants that grow in dry desert region they are called xerophytes for example cactus plant acacia tree etc aquatic plants plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants or hydrophytes for example lotus aquatic plants like hydrilla grows under water are called submerged plants so today we have classified plants into four groups on the basis of size of stem life span their flowering pattern and habitats according to size of stem plants are classified into trees shrubs and herbs we also studied about vines based on life span plants are classified as annuals biennials and perennials based on flowering pattern plants are classified into two groups that are flowering plants and non flowering plants based on habitats plants are divided into two groups that are terrestrial plants which include xerophytes aquatic plants or hydrophytes which includes submerged plants so i hope you all may have understood this and if you like this video please press the like button and also subscribe my channel to watch the further videos thank you